Hello again, crazy air raiders. Look at this man right here. Look at this cool dude. He so coolly wears sunglasses out in the middle of the night. Um, did you know that this guy actually is only a maintenance worker? As you can see on his back, it actually says maintenance. But uh, he has access to missiles the size of the NASA space program. And that headset on his head is actually a Fisher Price. He's actually uh, not communicating with headquarters at all. But, but, um, but yeah, he's he's definitely trustworthy. Anyway, on this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, missiles and how they work, and uh, just some tips of how to use them. I'm going to be uh, taking out the uh, ATS, uh, that which is the Tempest in the previous games, and I'm going to take out this, which is the Ionic, the uh, UA-45, which has 45 missiles, as you can see there. Um, and it also works on, on this as well, the uh, coastal missiles, um, but I'm not going to... Uh, actually, I can take those as well. I'll get rid of one of my other ones. Alright, so I've always wondered when I played um, Air Raider, for the laser guiding uh, missiles, do I need to uh, hold the laser guide the entire time on the target? Uh, when can I let go? Um, just how exactly does it work? So I'm going to uh, explain a little bit of how this works. So for the Tempest, um, what it does is, let me go ahead and call it in. Once you actually call it and it shows on the screen that it's been called in, um, it takes about uh, about 10 to 15 seconds before it actually launches into the air. So you don't have to hold your, your target on anything during that time. So um, what I usually do is I count 15 seconds and you'll see it's in the air. Once it's 15 seconds in your head, then you can go ahead and laser guide um, the target you want, probably for about three or four seconds. And then once it's facing that way, it's going to go that direction. You don't have to worry about holding it again. Unless, of course, you're going to a, a, move, a moving target. Then, of course, you want to um, laser guide it again. So uh, let me do that one more time. So like I said, I'm going to count 15 seconds So I'll be after it launches, of course. So I'm going to wait till it launches. And then I'm going to start counting 15 seconds. And then I'm going to hold it on the target for about 3 or 4 seconds. And that's all that's involved. And it is better to actually wait till it launches in the air first before you start laser guiding because if you do it... Because all you're doing with this laser guide is you're aiming it. Um, so you're, you're directing it this way. Now nah, I can direct it this way. So all you're doing is just guiding it to the direction you want. So once you have it in the direction that you want it to go, then you can let go. So it's all about, um, like I said, just holding it initially to start, counting, and then designating it where you want it to go for about three or four seconds, and then you can let go. Um, depending on the direction, of course. Like, say the missile is coming from this side over here, and it's ho heading over to this direction, and you want to actually call it over here somewhere, well, then maybe you have to hold it for maybe a little bit longer than four seconds, but really not not too much longer. And if the missile's going in the direction you're heading, you're wanting it to go, it's really simple. You can just, you know, hold the laser for one second and it's going to be there. So I just usually do three or four seconds to be safe. So um, so that, that really makes it a lot easier, I think, to use it because um, before in the past, I always thought you had to... Um, you had to, you know, hold it on the target the entire time, and you were kind of stuck of what you limited to what you could do the entire time while you're using the missiles, and that's not true at all. And say you want to move a moving, say you want to um, attack a moving target as well, um, you don't really need to uh, laser guide it until uh, 15 seconds or so when the missile's already launched. As you can see, it's coming from that direction this time. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put it on him for a couple seconds, and then then I can just hold it on him t t if he moves, so I can actually hit it. But, uh, I think I actually have the wrong missile for the second one. Yeah, I have the two Tempests. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the uh, UA-45. Now, how these work is, um, you call it in, they're very fast, and now if you laser guide something, you'll see how many missiles that are in the air. Like, I can see three, four, five, six, seven. So, and then and just, it does 45, of course. So what I need, what I, what I, I don't need to actually laser designate the target that I want to attack right away. Like what I, what I like to do is, let me go ahead and restart. What I like to do for the UA-45 is the same idea, where I'll uh, have a target that I want to attack, call it in, and then I'll wait for a little bit. And uh, depending on the missiles and how many that go in the air, you can wait quite a bit. As you'll see, they'll fly into the air, and then you can laser guide them. Once you have like 10 or 15 of them out, so you can wait a little bit longer till more of them are out in the air, then laser guide the target again, let go. You can use them as you need them. You don't have to have it on a target the entire time. Because as you see, they're just in the air, ready to be directed. So you can't wait till all 45 are in the air, but you can wait till, you know, 
15 of them are in the air, and then you can do it three times or something similar to that. So that's how I like to use the, um, the UA-45s, because if you just hold it on the target the entire time, you'll notice that it's not the greatest, because you up, you'll see just one missile come in at a time. One, then, then, then they'll start coming in a little bit faster. And it, it's kind of... I don't know, it's a little bit difficult to use it that way because you see it's spaced out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where I like to have it, you know, all go onto a target at once so I don't have to worry about the target moving very fast or getting out of the way. You know, wait for ten of them and then, then, then launch the ten. You know, wait for ten more and then launch the ten. So that's, that's a little tip I like to use for the UA-45 or the Ionic. Uh, let me go ahead and get the other ones now, the Coastal Missile. It's the same idea as well. It's just a matter of... Uh, of launching them in the air and then waiting a little bit before you actually use them. Yeah, the, I don't know why I didn't equip that in the previous. But I think you'll find it a lot more useful because it'll allow you to switch to other air raids while you're counting that 15 seconds in your head for the Tempest and you can use other things, air raids, or, or throw your turrets down, throw a vehicle, and then you can direct your missile rather than being locked to the calling in the missile the entire time. So here's the uh, coastal missile. There's six of these. So once, I, once again, I called them. I called them out into the air, and I'm going to wait until they're in the air. As you can see, they're starting to launch now. And uh, you can always tell how many are in the air by just briefly, uh, you know, laser guiding a target, and you'll see that they're all six of them in the air. So I waited about, you know, 10, 12 seconds on that, and then I called them in, so that I don't have to be locked at the target. So. I just figured that would, those tips would help because I've always personally wondered that myself of how to call these in and just the best way to do it. So so once again to recap for the ATS Tempest, call it in, wait about 15 seconds. Usually you can see the red when it's coming in because it starts to get red. And then as you can see just hold on to the target for about 3 or 4 seconds. And then once you have it on the target, you can go ahead and let go, and it'll go to that place that you last laser guided. As you can see, that's a good example of it coming from the direction that I wanted to actually call it to. So it came from out there, and it flew overhead, and I wanted it to go back over there. So I had to hold it for a little bit longer than three or four seconds. But uh, but you still don't have to do anything for at least a 15, so that frees you for the beginning part of the phase. And then for the UA-45, the Ionics, I like to just call it in, wait a little bit, as you can see, I'm starting to launch, but wait about 10 seconds. Then you can start laser guiding the target. And then if the target moves or you want to do another target, you can wait a little bit longer for the rest of them to come in. And then laser guide the target, and they'll all go into, you know, they'll all, they'll all launch fast, which is good. Especially if, like, you kill a cosmonaut or something or a colonist with it, and you want to go to another target, you can just wait a little bit, let, let like, 10 missiles go into the air, and then launch them on another target. And then the same with the coastal. Just wait about 10 seconds or so, and then you can launch them in the air, and you can launch where they're going to go. And that'll free you to do, you know, whatever whatever else you want to do with the other the other um, missiles or other air raids that you have. And you could even split those up three and three or something. I mean, you don't have to do all six on one target because they are spread out enough to where you can do that as well. So. Anyway, I hope that helps a little bit. Um, it's definitely helped me since I've been practicing this and figuring out how they actually work. So, um, once again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.